Baby, cool, baby. Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters. Each and every day, we sing praise. God, we sing praise. Lord, we sing praise. God, we sing praise. Jesus, your name is power to bread the flipping water. Amen. And God's Spirit drives us, and God is to the Spirit of the Father. Amen. So we sing praise each and every day as we sit here growing in our relationship, in our walk stronger, saints, to the Lord. Amen. With the Lord. We walk with the Lord. We walk alongside Him. Amen. In, all, in the Garden of Eden. Peace. Contentment. Love. Joy understanding and wisdom that is only given to those God has chosen and is choosing and has chosen before the foundations of this earth children to sit here and come and abide in his presence. Amen. And many people in this day and age, saints, many of you spirits that have an ear to hear, if you're privileged that opportunity, you should praise God and glorify him in all the things that you do. Amen. But we are in the praise of God. We sing praise to Him. We glorify Him. We honor Him with the fruits of our lips. These clay lips that you got right there, child, is what where you were created to praise, to glorify, and honor the Almighty. Amen. With pure and wholesome uh, talk that glorifies God. Amen. Praise God. For we know that what Scripture tells us, saints, that only those that are chosen by God, as it tells you in Ecclesiastes 2, we're going to read all of that for all of you. God doesn't choose you scholars. God doesn't choose you uh, philosophers. God doesn't choose things of that nature that are mighty and that are strong. As we're going to read in Scripture, what Scripture says. We that are coming of the Lord and are being ordained in this day and age, beloved brothers and sisters, and you remnant that are rising too. Glory, give glory to God on this sanctified Sabbath day, amen, which is of God. This is the day that, that my master Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, blessed forever, Jesus, so also obeyed from the Lord, amen. He obeyed from the Lord. Yes, he's Lord of the Sabbath, but it doesn't say no word that he changed it. He just said he was the Lord of the Sabbath, amen, and not man. The man made was made. The Sabbath was made for man, man not for the Sabbath. Amen. Praise God, says the word of God. So we don't change nothing and we don't add anything. Because we know that are getting privileged by God. The Revelations 22, 18, and 19 says, If you add anything, so will the Lord of hosts sit here and add all the plagues and all the disasters coming upon this world. Amen. For their disobedience because y'all want to choose to be partial, partial with what God has written and made in stone. For his word says, that not one dot or tittle shall pass, that one not one of his words, amen, are, are to be made void in a, in, in a world that makes and uh, select or selective, even in these ministers, ministers of this word, that show partiality to what God has written. Amen, praise God. But you're only going to be able to sit here and be standing solid and made whole like that rock that we are hewn from spirits amen when you swallow and eat the whole word of the Lord not selective not, not dining on the good good and not on the salt that brings bitter that's bitter amen even more when, it's, when you swallow that bitterness it'll start, you know, it'll start nurturing you start cleansing you purifying you and so that way you can be standing before the Lord the way he needs us to, not the way we want to. Because if we're standing before God in our own self-righteousness, in your own self-righteousness spirit, oh, I'm good. What's good about you? Amen? Like I tell folks, when they ask me, how are you doing today? I'm blessed by God to see another one. 
Amen. I'm doing well because of the Lord. I don't say I'm good because even my Master Christ said, why you call me good? The only good one is God. And we're not God, so what are we good at? Deceiving, lying, cheating, scheming, perverse, crooked, misleading people with false doctrine to uh, glorify and show honor to things that are not anything to praise and glorify for Christ is our light and we celebrate his way of life each and every way as he is the truth amen he is the light and he is the way and that's that's how you're going to find if, if you start obeying being still and not being drawn by every wind of doctrine spirits Amen, because that's what a lot of y'all, y'all see the shining ends over here in this big old hoorah party and everybody partying and your flesh gets all riled up and you want to go join that. Or you feel left out. Not seeing the burden. Not many people are not seeing the chains and the shackles, the strongholds, the desire, the strongholds, are the desires of your hearts to go and be miserable the next day because the tempter's in there to try to get you saints to go join in things that profit you nothing to uh, want or, or make your flesh feel all ooh, ooh, ooh and then in the morning you've already drank things that you're not supposed to defile in your garments you already entertain gossip, slander. You already entertain the adulterers that are in there that, that are committing adultery uh, behind their hu husbands or their wives' back and gets you to be all puffed up and want to be that stumbling block. Men and women, brothers and sisters, committing, end up committing fornication in the morning. You're like, oh, my Lord, I can't believe I did this. Yeah, you can. You let your flesh overrule your spirit and refrain from walking into that trap and snare that is laid before you, child. Amen. So who can we point the finger at? Pick up that mirror and go look in it. Amen. Even more, when you are taking these worldly festivities to drink and hoorah and your children are there just running rampant, you're showing them how to be dysfunctional. Amen. You're, so, you're teaching your children how to glorify the flesh, how to flaunt themselves, how to uh, idolize things, and use these worldly festivities as an excuse for you to defile your garments, thinking you can go sit in a church house on a man-made Sabbath day. And God loves you. He calls us hypocrites, is what he calls us. Amen, in this world. Not only you had to follow that, I had to follow it too. Except now I see. You don't go to a church. You become the church. Saint. I'm here for the people of God. Amen. You people that are going to be receiving and entering the kingdom of God dressed in the right garment and the right attire. If you yourself allow the Holy Spirit and the words to be implanted in you that can sit here and God will water and give the increase not in your materialistic things, spirits. I speak spiritual things, but in your spiritual growth. Amen. Allowing yourself to be pruned and nurtured as that tender plant before the Lord of hosts so you can be planted in the midst of his people in righteousness and holiness and just way spirits. 
looking up to the sun that lights your way even more that sits here and and we got to grow by the sun right and we need the sun to grow even when it's dark the sun is shining on you that are standing in faith and true belief and show God that his grace is enough and if his grace is enough spirits then your flesh and I desire nothing else but to be in the presence of God and to seek and search what pleases him not yourself not man and not the world amen and that is you walking one-on-one -on -one in communion and holiness and righteousness and just and confidence amen standing full assurance of your faith without wavering or being tossed to and fro or let them go be god bless you but as for me and my house we gonna serve the lord in spirit and in truth amen so as we sit here we're going to praise the, the lord we're going to pray we're going to praise we're going to worship the living god as we enter his courts with a heart full of thanksgiving for ever for just being who he is our redeemer our savior our rock our fountain of living water amen that we don't need to go and congregate in the congregation of evildoers, of deceived people, of, of the modern day Pharisees, and uh, mm -mm. we walk in as we are getting close to and allowing God to work on you in the righteousness of God, not our own righteousness spirits, the righteousness of God in the light of the Lord, in the true love of God. And it ain't store bought. Amen. If you gotta give somebody something to feel like they you are accepted, then you know what? <laughs> it's fake. Amen. Because when you come in the truth, you ain't got to give nothing in unless God has appointed you to it. You'll kill yourself in these worldly pagan celebrations to give gifts. And you're giving in the name of something that you don't even receive your rewards. For we know, and we just talked about that day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, the, the, or the day before that, that everything that you give and everything that you do, do it in the name of the Lord so that you by with no means re lose your reward. So when you're giving the name of, oh, Merry Christmas, you're taking Christmas, Merry Christmas. That's not Christ. That's not the name of Christ. Amen. So are you gaining a reward? Mm -mm. You think you're doing a good deed? Because Ezekiel tells you when you commit sin, all your good deeds and all your righteousness is remembered no more. Amen. So let us pray. We're going to praise. We're going to worship the living God in spirit and in truth for all of you that, that do 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 that because there's a lot of you that do not do that y'all do it through the flesh but not in the spirit amen let us pray Ooh, i love the lord each and every day love god amen love him for who he is and not for what he can give you because he's already given us the greatest thing on this earth it's my master. It's called salvation. It's called freedom from within. Not deceived and unto the outside saints. But you can do it the way you want to. I'm living it free. I'm living it in truth. I'm not living it deceived or walking in the course of this world as a lot of people are in this day and age. Amen. And y'all call it good. Y'all think that's it? Well, you'll see before the throne. God tells us in scripture, oh, 
if the, my children were wise and they would consider their latter end. We can only tell you, we can lead a horse to water, soundness, truth, but we can't make you take it. Amen. But you can reject it to your own destruction, saints. Amen. And we're going to be reading some more. We've been studying about Jeremiah, but today we're going to go on a different course because the Lord is awesome to be in his knowledge, in his wisdom, in his understanding that's above all of this world, as it says in Ecclesiastes 26, 2, 26, Proverbs 2, 6 to 7, and there's another. We're going to read. We, we sound here. We're in sound doctrine. We're receiving correction. We're receiving uh, the rebukes. We're, we're receiving the ex exhortation. We're receiving the, uh, the encouragement. We're receiving what God needs us to receive so that we can be found where he needs us to be. We don't need to be, we don't need to find him where we're, we don't need to have him be where we want him to be. We have to be found to where he needs us to be. Amen. In sincerity and in truth. Spirits, not, not deceived, not cunning, crappiness, because if you show yourself shrewd, God's going to show himself shrewd to you. If you're conniving, God's going to be conniving right with you. Amen. And he's that in scripture, he tells you. But to the righteous, he show himself strong. Amen. And I'm here to tell you that he has. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day that you have given us, Lord, to sit here and sing praises to you, to honor you, Father God, and to sit here and come humbly in your courts, Father God, asking and seeking you. First and foremost, Lord, I'm asking you in the mighty name of my Master Christ, that you have a Jesus, who's blessed forever, that you search my heart, Holy Spirit, and that you cleanse it and, and purify it and purge it from anything that does not belong to you. So that way, Lord of hosts, these prayers that are being prayed up to you, Father God, will be acceptable and pleasing, not only in your sights to yours, but an aroma that is pleasing unto you, Lord. I thank you so much for the life that you have given me, Father God, for the freedom that is truly found in you, for opening my eyes and removing the scales, Father God, even more for breaking the chains, the strongholds, the bondages, even the excuses that we hold in our mouths to try to fulfill the lust of the flesh out here, because we know that you know all things, Father God, even the deep hidden things of our hearts and, and even more the intentions that we have that are hidden before man, but we, as we, as your word says, everything is, is exposed and naked before your eyes, Lord. So that way nobody can sit here and use no excuse before you, Father God, of why we continue doing these things. And it can't be because we sit here and can say that we can do all things that Christ that strengthens us if we're falling weak to the flesh and the desires to please people and not you. Almighty God, as we sit here and we go through these times and you, you're telling us in your words about the adulterers and the idolaters, the priests, even more those that, that continue teaching people and binding them in the ways of this world that is not according to your doctrine and they want to argue about what is written. But if it's not written, why do they do it? I have no idea, Lord. But I know in that day, as your word says in Jeremiah, they will know the errors of their ways because they, it's not that they didn't know, it's that they choose not to obey, but follow that wide road of deception, Holy Father, only to their own destruction. Maybe not now, but before the throne for instructing their children and teaching their children and others to feed the flesh, please the world, and instruct their kids in ways that they should not have gone in, 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 in becoming liars about a, a man in a red suit and all of this worldly festivities that is not according to you, Lord. But they still ignorantly and blindly don't see, Father God. They choose not to obey, but to rebel against you. And more judgments are coming, and they don't understand the judgments of their own God. I do, that's why we're praying, and I thank you for your strength, I, strength. I thank you for your courage, I strength you, I, I praise you, omnipotent sovereign God, for your um, compassion that you've had on me to let, to set me free. Almighty God, as we sit here and we lift up the holy hands to you, Father God, even those that are defiled, Father, we're asking you to cleanse their hands 
to cleanse their hearts, to wash their hearts, Lord, and break down those walls of Jericho that they have built up to continue being stubborn and rebellious and stiff-necked, just like our forefathers were against you, not realizing in this doctrine you tell us of what would happen to us if we continued in the ways of our forefathers, Holy Father. And many people are still without without wanting to restrain from from doing these things, Father God, for the lust of the flesh even more. My brothers, they they are, are bowed down and have cowered down and not want to set their houses in order. But you, Father God, did not have the price to pay just like Adam did when you sent them out of there for, for him not obeying and keeping control of his house. We love you, Lord. We know that you lead our house. We know that you lead our house in soundness and in truth, Father God. We know that you correct us. We know, Holy Father, that you, omnipotent, sovereign God, are here to light our way and to guide us and show yourself strong on us that remain faithful until the end to you. Fill us with the goodness of your house, Father God, and it's not a materialistic thing, Father God, but join the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit as we have read it in your word that it tells us in Second Peter, Father God. I love you more than life itself. I'm asking you to, that your mercy be upon all those children of disobedience that are out there that profess you, Father God, but live partially to your word. I'm asking you, Father God, that you make hold those broken people that are out there, Father God, that, that feel that you won't use them because the devil is a lie. You will use anybody with a willing mind and a, and a, and a willing heart, Father God, to, to uh, submit to you, to surrender to your will, not to just to submit, but to surrender, Father God, our will for yours. We love you, Father God, and let your light so fall on us and shine through us for the whole world can see, Holy Father, the Christ and my brothers and my sisters and those those stones that are building the true church of God and we are building it on top of, firm, of the foundation of Christ that is already our firm foundation, Father God, tried stone, perfected stones that we can be found um, as acceptable and proved by you so that we can be counted worthy to make that church, Father God, to become that church, that tried stone, that beam, that whatever you are making us for in your house. There are vessels of honor, and you are making us that, Father God. Try us and purify us and purge us, Lord. By faith and believe in you, Lord, I know that you are working. In my Master Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus' mighty name, Holy Father, I'm asking you that you let your Holy Spirit fall and fill this vessel with what I need for the hearer to hear, Father God, and the seer to see. By faith and believe in you, Lord, I know that you are working. In my Master Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Love it. I've never known a love like yours. So it's a mess. So powerful. I've tasted, I've seen, and nothing comes from. I've never known a love like you. Jesus, your name is power, it's breath of living water, and your spirit guides us. To the heart of the Father, let your praise ring louder, every day and every hour, cause your spirit guides us to the heart of the Father. I never felt at home like this, just like a child. So innocent, I'm safe inside your arms, cause you won't let go, I've never known a love like yours, Jesus your name is power, it's bread and living water, and your spirit guides us. To the heart of the Father, let your praise ring louder every day and every hour, cause your spirit.
walk, he will walk into the promised land, and I will know the beauty of his hands. My hands will hold the hands that are holding me. I will see your goodness. And I will see the coming of the promise. I believe that you restore the broken parts of my brothers and my sisters and your body of Christ and me. I will see your goodness. And I will see the coming of the promise. I believe that you restore the broken parts of us. Jingle bells, they don't do nothing. Y'all gonna be rocking around a Christmas tree that don't do nothing. See what I mean? Y'all singing uh, Rudolph that don't do nothing. That's an idol. Uh, sit, sit, an idol. And you feed it to your kids. You, yourself, adult, grandma, grandpa, mother, father, uncle, auntie, brother, sister. Teach your children to sing to idols. I could try to tell y'all, but y'all don't listen. We should be singing to him. That gives all things, amen? But are you? Hey, Paul, Amen. We're going to be singing some of that, but we're going to sit here and get into the word now, right now. So, because in a minute, my brother come in and we're going to go and deliver some more letters to the churches, because we all the church. Amen. Whether you believe or whether you're not. You are somebody that's going to be standing before the Almighty. Amen. Praise God. So this morning while I was communing with the Lord, and I always have a look, that's why it's always scribble, scribble, scribble. Romans 8, 8 says, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Amen. If you spirits had or have an ear to hear and a willing mind to understand anything other than yourselves, and to glorify in yourself, or had any understanding of the words as you have trained yourselves to become of the world, blindly speaking, yourselves, separating yourselves from the peaceful life of Christ. Amen. As the word of truth tells you, Spirit, you have blindly separated yourselves from the peaceful life of Christ, alienated of true contentment, joy, and not store-bought love, 
but true love and freedom, children. You would be willing, you would be with understanding that our great God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Amen. And that his word, as you speak it, but don't quite get, gain understanding that it's not amendable or contemptible or will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away, says the word of God, but God's word will stand. Amen. Not one jot or one tittle. So while sp uh, spirits, even those many of, of mankind, spirits, choose to follow and turn away from following the truth, the life. And as my master sit here and spoke to the 12 disciples after truth was getting spoken to them, that a lot of people turned away and followed. They, they turned, turned from following him. So are many people that are hard to digest the truth and when the lies and the deception are before you and God removes that scale so you can understand and see, child, the misery, the dysfunction, the discord, the burden, the chains that you yourself have blindly been led to believe throughout the generations, but not only you, but you bind your children continuously instead of setting your house in order and aligning it with the word of God, not the word of man, the cunning and craftiness, the deception, the statue, the worldliness of it. And that many of you spirits have continuously continued to give yourself over having a debased mind that God will give to you. And he tells you this in scripture, saints, and you read it. But are you intaking it? Are you digesting it? Or are you just overlooking it like a careless thing that has no meaning and continue walking in a way that has no meaning? Amen? As he told his other saints, do you want to go? Turn around and go. My master tells all y'all, go. If you don't want to receive the truth, if you don't want to receive correction, if you don't want to abide in me, then go. The disciples, Peter said, well, can, where should we go? Where can we go, Father? Where, we, where will we go, Master? You have the words. If you're willing to intake it, child. Amen. Many of you spirits have not waited this long to fall away or backstab our Lord, the King that you profess. Because you are and have become selective in how you choose to serve, not truly. Grasping the concept of or even consider what your latter end, what your end truly will be. Amen. For we that are truly of the Lord, not only speak the word, but live the word. And those you choose, and, you, and those of you who choose to listen, listen to children truly. truly have and receive from us out of genuine true love for your eternal, for your eternity. And those that you choose to follow, if they were speaking out of genuine or true love for your eternity, they would speak a way of life, a way of love, a way of correction, and a way of enlightenment as second Timothy 4.2 tells you, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, 
reprove, rebuke, and encourage with every form of patience and instruction. But speak, speak strictly to those, even you churchgoers, whom the majority of you, who are really the worst hypocrites, as the word calls us. But in 1 Timothy 5.20 tells us, but to those who persist in sin should be rebuked in front of everyone so that others will stand in fear of sin, not of us. And I'll yell, who are you to judge? Well, you know what? I'm talking to God's people. Amen. Titus 2.15 tells us that he gave us, he, that he gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawless deeds and to purify for himself a people zealous for good works. Are you thus then zealous for good deeds, child? And what it has, Scripture says, and what it has, in Scripture says, is good and acceptable to the eyes of God, not yours. Amen. Or your flesh or what you think would please people and not God. Or are you selective in the deeds that that could help others, but not yourself, your flesh, or your own house? Amen. There is ways you can serve others, your community, people. Especially, I know y'all supposed to be helping as the Word of God says the people of the house of faith. But I know y'all don't know what that is. A lot of people are selective in that. Amen. But thank God provides all things. And thank you, my brothers and my sisters that do. Amen. The ways that would please the Lord. Amen. First Peter 4, 1. If anyone speaks, he should speak as a conveying the words of God. If anyone serves, he should serve with the strength God provides. As in Scripture tells us, God gives wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to those he chooses, spirits. Ecclesiastics 3, 2, 26 tells us, for God gives wisdom and knowledge and joy to a man who is good in his sight. But to the sinner he gives the work of gathering and collecting that he may give to him who is good before God. This also is vanity. Amen. Proverbs 2, 6 to 7 tells us, For God gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He stirs up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who dwell upright. He guards the path of the justice and preserves the ways of the saints. Amen. And he reveals things to come to his prophets. Amos 3.7 and all of you prophets that are out there say, prophet this, prophet that. And you are prophesying things that are not the judgments of God that is coming. <laughs> God's got a scripture for you too. So not everyone is equipped with such things. Amen? But those that God chooses. Amen? And we pray in the name of Christ Yeshua Mashiach that God is blessing you with the privilege to have your eyes and your ears open spirits no matter how much you will it to understand they are hidden and only given to those chosen by the lord deuteronomy 29 29 tells you amen so that in all things god may be glorified through jesus yeshua Messiah, jesus to what to whom be Glory and power forever and ever.
Titus 1.13 says, This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in faith. I know a lot of you spirits, y'all don't like no correction. But God tells us in 1 Corinthians verse 26, For the foolishness of God is wiser than man's wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. Brothers, consider them, if you're called, not many of you who are wise in this world, philosophers and scholars and biblical blah, blah, blah. Amen. Not many of you wise by human standards, not the strong by power, not man of stature, and not noble. Amen. Not many of them are called. Amen. But those who God chooses. So now, as we're sitting here, we're going through these times, beloved brothers and sisters, and you know, the saddest thing in this world is that you spirits are so blinded by your deception and the cloak of covertness that not only are you smothering yourself, spirit, but you are sitting here and causing a whole lot of people to error because of your desire. And you, brothers, men of God, of the faith, that do not stand up to set your house in order, you're going to face judgment, child. Amen. Any time that we are out here, child, we're not out here, I don't speak on this device, and don't think that just because I speak here like this on this device, that when I'm out there speaking, where I'm in public, that I will not rebuke and exhort as the Lord fills me and leads me to. And yes, in a way, to those, and there's scripture of this too, to be soft with those that, that are, are really coming on, but to speak to those that know better, in a way that there's no excuse for your actions. Amen, praise God. And another scripture tells him that because of you, God's name is blasphemed. The Lord's name is blasphemed because you choose to show partiality in the way that you walk other than the way that you speak, child. Not understanding that your condemnation, child, spirit, is greater at the call of judgment and it's coming. Many people, y'all are without understanding of God's judgment. These, these things and, that are ripping. How do you know God just didn't speak and utter the word and cause all that devastation to, to wake you up? So you can refrain from putting, uh, uh, to, to stop you from, from committing these errors and, and these idolatry worshiping and doing these things that are not written. But y'all know what y'all do? The, oh, well, we're going we're, we're to build greater just like the people in that, uh, the Tower of Babel. And why did God do? Struck them. Are y'all not? Are y'all still with that understanding? God said you rebuild and he will tear down. Keep going. With your, with your will. But you're fighting against the Almighty God that you're going to lose. And your life, spirits. And your life. And then you have these preachers. Oh, they're laid to rest. Oh, they're going to sit here and be in heaven. No, they're not. They're going to face it. They're going to lay in that ground until judgment time because the dead will rise first that are in the grave from every nation every tribe and every tongue no matter who we are nobody's gone to heaven word tells us 
nobody ascend to heaven but him who descended. And that is Christ, the Son of Man, my Master. Amen. So don't let nobody in this world deceive you with vain words that y'all eating up like candy. Fattening you up. What they're doing is fattening you up for the slaughter. As God tells us in his word in Jeremiah, and we're going to get back to studying that, but this, this word has to come out. Because it is like unto fire. Amen. That this word says that God will bring devastation from one end of the earth to the other. He will lay people. And he's doing it now. By pestilence, by famine, by sword, by devastation, by any way that he chooses until the desires of his heart are fulfilled. Amen. And you walk in contrary to God, he can walk contrary to you. Amen. Remember, he don't owe us nothing. We didn't create him. He created you. Me and you. Amen. And he will restore you. Not your materialistic stuff, spirit. Your life. Your strength. Your walk. Your freedom. Your soundness. If you want it. Amen. Because you don't strive with nobody's spirit. And don't think that he will not use you. Like I said, y'all think it's just every pastor, prophet, evangelist, whatever. So you're standing before the throne and he says, when they say, I never knew you, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Amen.
we were the prisoners, now we're running free. We are forgiven, accepted, redeemed by His grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We'll shout the praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There is joy. And we won't be quiet. We'll shout out the praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Their God is truly today. We'll shout out the praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There is joy, joy in the house of the Lord. We'll shout out the praise. We'll shout out the praise. Shout out your praise. We shout out your praise. Amen. Can you shout out his praise? That you would be mindful of us. What do you see that's worth looking our way? We are free in ways that we never should be. Shabbat Shalom. 
To surrender your will and glorify God. Amen. Not remember, He's a spirit. If you're doing things in a physical manner, other than singing and holding up your hands unto the Lord and speaking truth and lifting up the name above all names, can you not do it in the spirit? Amen. Remember, our God is not a physical thing. He can manifest it such because he's omnipotent. Amen. He's sovereign. And his words are going to do what it's called to do. Whether it's called a ripple in a wave of the atmosphere to cause destruction. Whether it is to sit here and open up the ground and command the ground to open it up to swallow up things whether it's to sit here and make the mountains tremble to cause slides. Are you understanding? Whether it is to command you to be free. Amen. And remove your shackles and chains and bondage and strongholds of your mind so that you can see. But when he does release you from that child, do not go back because you still have that flesh that you got to bring into subjection, child, and cleanse this mind that you have corrupted and filled with all worthless things in your eyes. And the, and the devil, the tempter is out here with shininess everywhere, cunningness. To Jezebel's spirit and the bells above, to cause you to lust after things instead of saying, "Uh-uh, Satan, not today." Get hints. Get hints. Amen. Let us pray as we sit here. We go about this day, beloved brothers and sisters, and you know I know. Even if it's one person that is truly comes to the Lord and God privileges you because he says the narrow path very few shall find. Amen. To desire to walk in it. Amen. But bless the Lord and thank him if that is you. That you are watching somebody that's speaking truth to you. Don't, don't believe every word that man says but every word that's written in the Bible. Amen. And if it's not in there for you to celebrate, then you need to refrain from your idolatrous ways and stop. Because those that you lead, even these children that you tempt and instruct to serve the creature, the flesh, even their own desires, there's blood in your hands, Spirit. Blood in your hands. Nobody can sit here. You're not going to be able to point a finger on Judgment Day and tell him, Lord, I listened to that. No, God said you should have had two times. He said to work out your own salvation with Chimney. He said to study the scriptures to show yourself approved. Amen. Not approved by man, approved by God. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we sit here, we, we, I can't do nothing but glorify. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, thank you so much, Father God. I ask you each day to fill me with your spirit, to fill me with your truth, to fill me with your light, Lord, to seek you and be unto those that are out there in the dark and the fallen world, to see, Father God, 
that want to continue doing and living for the world and not for you, Father God. For above you, I know that there is none, Lord, and beside you there is none, and beneath you there is none, and there is none other that will have to stand before the throne and give, give account for everything that we've done, for everybody misleading, for every time that we chose not to refrain because the strength already lies within us. It's up to us whether we want to bring the subject, bring that desire into subjection, bring everything into subjection to follow you, Father God, in obedience. But there's not nothing impossible for you, Holy Father. You are the God of the impossible. You are the one that moves mountains. You appoint kings. You're the one that sits here and does things that we can't do, Father God, because even though we think that we can, when we're walking in, in the cunning and craftiness of this world or the desire to fulfill any lust or any desire other than to serve you, Lord, then we are deceived. There's not nothing impossible for you, Holy Father. Remove the scales from my brothers and my sisters' hearts. Even more than that hardened heart, that impending heart that they got taken from them, Father God. Even if it's for one time just so they can see the deception that they've been living in and we, that we've been taught, Father God. Privilege them, Holy Father, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus as you sit here and you look down from heaven, Father God, from your highest throne. To have those walls of Jericho broken down so that they can see themselves, Father God, and true, truly and, and decide who they're going to serve. <clears throat> he said to follow you. You are the path. You are the hands. You are the, you and we ourselves. We need to leave this world and to cling to you in faith and in truth and belief, Father God. By faith and believing you, Lord, I know that you are working. In my master Christ, you show me your mighty name we pray. Lead us, Father. Guide us and protect us. Did everything that he could do. Oh, but look what you've done on the cross. In the grave, with the stone rolled away, all my dead kid was pain. Look what you've done in my mind, in my heart, in my soul, in my life. With my hands lifted high, I'm singing, look what you've done, look what you've done in me. You spoke your truth into the lies I let my heart believe. Look at me now. Look how you made me new. The enemy did everything that he could do. Oh, but look what you've done. On the cross, in the grave, with my rope, my stone rolled away. With my death, it was pain. Look what you've done in my heart, in my mind, in my soul, in my life. With my hands lifted high, I'm singing, Look what you've done. Amen. God, have a blessed and wonderful day. I love y'all, and I really hope that y'all find your way. Amen. One day, the servant of God is going to be gone. Amen. And these people that I'm around right now, they're going to wish they had come and heard what God was saying as you even more accept it and make that change. Amen. God, have a blessed and wonderful day.